Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! A moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Previously on Oh Wow Moments. Carbonation is why we can do this. To understand why this happens, we first need to talk about how we get all the gas in the soda to release at once. Look at it like this. Pretend this is a very tiny particle of dissolved carbon dioxide in the soda. It finds some point, like the side of a glass, on which to stick. Once it sticks, it attracts more and more dissolved carbon dioxide, which continue to stick to it, causing it to get larger. Eventually it gets so large it forms a bubble that breaks free from the point where it first stuck. This whole process is called nucleation. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. Pour some soda into a cup. Now drop in a pinch of salt. Watch what happens. All that bubbling is nucleation happening with the salt, and that's where the Mentos comes into play. Mentos may look smooth, but they're actually quite rough with lots of micro-sized pits all over it. Those pits make Mentos perfect for nucleation. So when you drop a whole stack of Mentos into a freshly opened bottle of soda, you get a massive amount of nucleation occurring all at once. All that carbon dioxide coming out pushes out a lot of soda at the same time, creating the geyser effect. So do you think it matters how many Mentos you use? Or what type of soda you use? Or what the temperature of the soda is? Hmm. Join us next Saturday for part four of our series as we look at how the brand of soda affects our soda geyser. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.